The University of Namibia's Hage Gainkup campus is calling on all prospective uh, students who received rejection letters last year to file for an appeal on their application. Joining us with more on this is the Student Representative Council Vice President at UNAM Hage Gainkup campus, Daniel Hamutenya. Daniel, good evening and welcome. Good evening, ma'am. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Daniel, can you explain to us uh, the key steps in the student appeal application process? Okay, um, thank you very much for the question. Um, first of all, um, in order for a student to be eligible for this appeal process, they should have applied in the previous academic year. Mm -hmm. And they should have applied and then been rejected with um, whatever reason that they have for rejection. And then the following year, being this year, mm -hmm. can they then appeal for reconsideration into the university. Mm -hmm. And what are the common reasons that students would get rejected from institutions of higher learning and, and how can this be addressed? Um, first of all, with the new curriculum that came into effect, I think most learners in our high schools are confused as to which subjects they should take in order to have the right subject combinations in order to um, apply for courses such as medicine. Right. Um, and to address this, I think more information is needed and outreach should be done in order for these learners to know which subjects to take in order to apply with the correct subjects. Also, I think um, when learners apply with insufficient documents, automatically that will also lead, lead to the rejection. And um, you have learners that do apply, they have enough points, but unfortunately the School of Medicine takes in the cream of the cream. So if you are not among that, then unfortunately you also do not qualify. Mm -hmm. yeah. You mentioned the issue of documents. So let's talk about what documentation is required for a successful appeal. And are there specific deadlines um, for students uh, that they need to be aware of during the appeal process? Yes, there are specific documents that students need. This include um, an appeal form that students can get on campus and um, an appeal letter similar to a motivational letter, a certified copy of their recent academic results and a certified copy of the ID. Um, as for the deadlines, currently the um, appeal for School of Medicine started on the 11th of January and are going until the 24th of January. Mm -hmm. And for other schools, which are School of Pharmacy, School of Dentistry and School of Allied Health, appeals end on the 22nd of January. Mm -hmm. And what is the expected timeline for a decision on an appeal? Well, there's no specific timeline, but to be on the safe side, it should be a week and a half. Um, I mean, just to give you a clear picture, the um, students that had um, provincial acceptance from last year and uh, their interviews were only carried out today. So you can then expect that the appeal candidates will be announced a bit later on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are there support services available to help students understand and through the appeal process? One thing that's very important for um, prospective students in these times of appeal process is information. I believe if students are given the right information during this time that we are in, they will definitely know where to go. And the SRC is actively on campus and on the ground to not only direct, but to offer the critical and needed information for this um, prospective students to know where to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You mentioned early in our conversation that there's miscommunication or misunderstanding um, among students in terms of you know, the grades and also the subjects that they need to undertake to be um, admitted to these institutes of, of higher education. So talk to us about what um, it is that they actually do need. Well, um, for in detail specifications as to what students need, I will refer them to our website where the most recent prospect is available. Mm -hmm. But um, subjects such as English, biology, physics, and chemistry are some of the requirements with students having to have um, 35 points in five subjects. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Are there uh, any opportunities for students to present their cases in person? Unfortunately, with the sheer number of um, applications that the university receives, there is no um, chance for a student to present his or her own case in person. But they are given an opportunity to present their case through what we call the motivational letter. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, any final uh, words that you have this evening for any students watching who find themselves uh, in this predicament? Well, all I can say to students that are watching tonight is that the School of Medicine takes in the best of the best. And I'm very much sure that the way we performed, we know that I belong amongst the best. And if we find ourselves um, unable to appeal, come on campus, the Student Representative Camp Council is more than welcoming you. 
um, to come seek help from us. We are on the ground. And for more information, you can always um, contact our SRC of Information and Publicity as well as our SRC of um, Academic Affairs. Mm -hmm. Our contact details are available all over our social media pages, such as Instagram on agc.unam underscore and also um, on the UNAM website. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, Daniel, thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Ron. That was uh, Daniel Hamutenya.